this race is the uh, national championships over here in Costa Rica. This is the first race that I'm gonna do in a while that I'm actually feeling good. In a race, always something goes wrong. I could go last, I can crash, I can, I don't know, but the only thing I always think is just get back into it. You're gonna finish, you're gonna do okay. This was actually a pretty good piece. I thought Esteban in particular was um, very compelling, um, not just because um, he was a good performer, but because he was so relatable. And I feel like there was a very human component um, to the piece, especially with the backdrop of, um, I believe, his alcoholism or just some issues with um, drug substances early on that sort of contributed to why he wanted to be um, a triathlon athlete. I hope I'm saying that correctly. This piece was um, interesting to me because you don't often see a lot about this particular sport, even though it's usually when I hear about it, it's like in the Olympics, it's at the, the biggest possible level, but there are many levels up to it. And even at the smaller national levels, it's an incredibly difficult sport to do. And it requires an incredible amount of training in numerous fields and a very high level of discipline. So it's um, quite fascinating to see somebody who's um, so committed to performing and to um, being at a high level in his field, even without the fanfare and without the money, without um, all the stats um, that back up um, a notoriety that would sort of um, uh, give people the feeling that they should do this because they want to be seen and be popular, they want to be famous. This is something that's very much um, insular, internal. Um, you're solo. It's uh, You really have to be a craftsman for this type of piece. And I thought that this really showed not just um, the discipline required for this type of thing, but sort of um, the sort of humanity required for this. And I thought it was interesting at the end, um, Esteban's feeling about um, the racing and how it was more important that he sort of grew as a person and the community that um, grew and his friendships that grew from being um, in this field. I thought they it gave a good, a relatable um, concept to a piece that is um, showcasing something that is not that um, typical for most people to understand. So I felt like it was really a great um, on-ramp for people that were not that um, used to this concept to really understand it, to really see why people like Esteban would find this to be so compelling and so fulfilling. I always find it interesting that athletes relate exercise or uh, triathlons in general uh, to uh, addiction and addiction going after it and achieving it becomes this addiction. I've heard that uh, said before. Um, but you can see how easily that journey towards it can be derailed just due to COVID, which was happened to quite a few athletes and then just life habits, bad habits, um, whether it be alcohol intake uh, bad eating, just lack of, um, commitment. And so it was interesting to see him overcome all of this and then commit himself to, um, completing it. And then the satisfaction of just completing it, he wasn't necessarily, you know, upset that he didn't come in first for him. It was about doing it and then knowing that he could, and then continuing to, because at this point it's his addiction. Really honest of why he got into triathlons in the first place how that kind of came to be um and honestly that he kind of fell into it in a way with just having picked up different things here and there and then kind of heard about a triathlon and just decided to do it and that's kind of what started the whole um love for it and finding the community and really committing and um i thought it was really nice triathlons man they that's a different beast people that choose to do them people that commit to it people that do multiple like that they're made differently i <laughs> i thought that esteban was a very likable protagonist a very likable subject for the documentary uh, i thought that helped to kind of bring the viewer into the story uh, and made them want to stay because you want to know uh, what's going to happen next how this uh, person's journey through this uh, this sport through this event is going to pan out uh, i thought that the interviews with the family did a good job of uh, adding context to uh, esteban's story uh, how it's uh, played into his relationships with his family and with the people around him. And they also added a good bit of levity to the film, uh, with some of them uh, being pretty funny with just little anecdotes uh, and things like that. Uh, and then I thought the pacing here was pretty good as well. And overall, this was a uh, pretty straightforward, uh, but 
fun to watch and well put together. I really enjoyed all the interviews with him and others who know and care about him. I loved hearing about his life story so far. Like how he was not taking care of himself at one time and partying and staying up too late. And then he started working out and being healthier and his life improved. It was particularly inspiring that he learned to swim only recently and got so good at it. I also love the wide shots of all the swimmers together on the water. So many athletes with one goal to do their best. I especially love the upbeat song at the end of the film. It's a very inspiring story. Um, kind of even the footage and the images um, contained and just seeing like the, the character growth um, in his life as he went from before being a triathlete to kind of finding his meaning and purpose um, and healthier way of life as a triathlete. I've never really paid much attention to triathlons, but just kind of hearing the personal story um, definitely made it a lot more interesting. Um, and that, I think it was just so great that story was able to make that, like, triathlons seem interesting to a non-athlete such as myself. Um, so I think it, it did that beautifully in the documentary, kind of showing the bigger role of the community and the having a goal and getting to eat whatever you want as you carve up before a race. It's, it's a really sweet and inspiring documentary. It has such a positive spirit, especially someone in the field he is, which is the triathlons in Costa Rica. He's uh, very positive and continues moving, especially with the story that he got injured and he still keeps on going when there's so many people who would just give up. He never does. He keeps on moving. Um, cinematography was well done. It's, it's like the triathlon is maybe swimming, running, and bicycling. But he's, uh, he's good that he perseveres and came in third place, even after everything he's been through.